Hey guys, Ken here. Uh, welcome back to my Pulse Tube channel. It has been quite some time. The last time I did a floss tube was back in May. And here it is all the way in October, October the 8th to be exact. And since then, I have really not stitched at all. There's uh, a lot of other things that's been going on. I have been crafting. Uh, I just lost all of my stitching mojo. But I am back. And I have all of my cross-stitching things out. I'm going to talk about them today and maybe talk about some plans and see where we're going from here. Uh, I've got a lot of uh, big projects that's going. It takes a long time to stitch them. So right off the bat, I want to stitch something that's going to be quick and is going to give me a very quick finish. And... Had, I've given a lot of these away and I've been given these uh, everything is possible with God indeed it is I'm going to do this one for me I have done oh man how many I don't know my sister times two I know Everything is possible with God. We believe in that. So I want one for myself. I'm going to do that for myself. So I'll have a quick finish. That will be coming up. Uh, and I want to say that I have been watching some of the floss tubers. Uh, some of my regulars that I always watch that are faithful with recording. Uh, enjoy them. And um, I hope that the ones that were watching me will come back and... You'll find something here that you will like and that will keep you coming. Um, so we'll just get right into it. Uh, what I'm working on, I'm working on all of these. How am I going to put them in rotation? I don't know. Am I going to have a rotation? I don't know. One thing that I do know is that I'm going to be stitching again. And that's going to be awesome. I won on Cross Stitch and Discuss this beautiful, beautiful, beautiful uh, dimensions kit. And I am going to start this right away. I love Pope John Paul II. And this is a papal uh, tribute to Pope John Paul II, 1920 to 2005. He left us on April the 2nd, 2005. And this. I can't wait to get this stitched. I love that. So I'm going to get started on this pretty quick. Uh, uh, looks like the threads will be easy to separate. Um, yeah. So that will be coming up and I just got everything out on the table here. Uh, uh, maybe talk about that later. Uh, talk about that maybe later. So, the Heaven and Earth challenge that's been going on. I, this last challenge, I did the first two and was successful. I stopped the last one uh, my, because I just really got burnt out on it and parking is just not for me. I just wasn't feeling it. I'm not saying that I would never park, but for the challenge after I finished this last page, um, This was challenge one over here where you had to do staggering blocks and so forth. I put some more stuff. I'm wanting to finish this page up. But that is looking. I love when you look at it. The earth. I can't wait to get more of this done. I'm excited about starting back on this. Uh, this is 
the heaven and the earth butterfly which one is it thought I had it wrote down but apparently I don't oh my goodness I'll try to edit that out okay uh what is this pattern? Anyway, it's a heaven and earth. It's a butterfly something. I'll be better prepared maybe next time. But, you know, I just like to come in here and record. Really don't have to have notes. Just talk about what I'm doing. And this is on 25 count Lugana. One over one is what I'm doing. And let me see if I can fix the camera. Ta-da! We're back. Okay. So, I can put this right here. Because I think all that goes together. And I will be working on this next. I don't know what this goes with. Yeah, this. Alright. So, this is a project that I'm working on. That footprint in the sand. I really want to pull this out. Just looking at it. Um, I still have not got it done. And this goes to my intentions, my sister. But, um, yeah. We'll get there. I got the bottom part done yep so it's pretty and it's on 28 count I love 28 count Back in here, and this goes in here, and we will make it work. Sorry for all the crinkling, just want to keep all my stuff together, put prints in the sand. Um, I'm also working on my frosted pumpkin. Let's go on an adventure. And this is pretty much where you saw it last time. I really want to get started back on this and finish it. I just lost all desire at the time, but I'm back. And it'll get some love. For, for, for sure. That goes with this. That goes with that. And I have not started this, but I've got it kitted up. And known place like home. Known place like home. I have really got to get this going. It would take no time to really finish this. This could be a very quick finish. Can I just get started and do it on 28 count? Got my fabric. It's already uh, the edges are showing. You can pray. Um, so we'll get started on it. Quick, quick, quick. Um, what else? Oh, yes. How could I? And I know. Um, I have this mini butterfly fairy, and you really can't tell about the picture. Maybe it's black and white printed. Beautiful. That's the colors. And I, you know, I just really have not done anything on this 
and it's still up in limbo. If I'm going to do any more on it, I might. I might. Okay, butterfly mask. Maybe this is when it goes with this. That needs to get some love right off the bat. I'll tell you another kit that has got to start. And I may wait till the first of the year to do these. Uh, Disney Dreams Collections uh, Original Art by Thomas Kincaid, The Little Mermaid. Yeah. I really need to get started on this. For sure. Beautiful colors. Beautiful colors. Beautiful colors. Uh, and the other thing that I have going is, 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 save the stitches. Okay. And this is so pretty. Big old piece of material here. And... I'm sorry, this video is probably going to be kind of a repeat from my last. But this is really to show you what I'm working on and where I'm at. And I'm back and getting my budding gear to my stitching. Save the stitches. That's it. Uh, I am really wanting to get... into some sows, stitch alongs, but um, I'm predicting this is probably uh, this is an eight inch hoop. Uh, I want to do a giveaway. Two bags. I think they will. They I make project bags for my knitting and uh, crochet podcast. But I'm going to give these two bags away for cross stitching, and I think they're big enough to hold at least a ten by ten or eight by eight. And um, uh, frame to store your things in and whoever wins it would like some feedback tell me what you think is it good to use for cross stitching it is uh, the finished size is kind of let me get my ruler out and we'll measure it we're looking at This red one here is a 16 and a half wide and 15, 15 by 16. And I can't see the size showing up like crazy. So if you would like to be considered for this, down below, just put you would like to be considered for the red bag as a zipper. It's lined. The lining is red. And it has the box bottom. You can set it down. So, yes, indeed. You would like to be considered for that. List below. And on my next cross tube, I will. And this was even better, bigger. It is about a 17 by 15. See the cherries? Uh, now when I'm sewing directional fabric, Randall looked at this and he said, oh, you did really a great job, but 
uh, the cherries are pointed in the wrong direction. <laughs> but anyway, it should have been more or less like this, he says. But either way, it's a beautiful bag. It's well sewn. It's well put together. It's turned out perfect as far as I'm concerned. It's got a wrist strap. And uh, I even put in here my name, the Turbo Knitter. Applique let down. It has the, see, the black polka dot lining in this. And it will make a great budget bag, I guarantee you, for that you can put your projects in for your knitting. So if you would like to be considered, and the cherry bag list below. And you can only win one. Okay. Good deal. All right. I will look forward to hearing from you guys about that. I can put this back in here. I'm at 16 minutes. I really want to keep this short. Uh, I think this next week I'm going to work on my frosted pumpkin and save the stitches. So that's probably what I will be showing uh, in my next recording. Uh, I think that's everything. Okay. So I guess we can call that a wrap. I want to thank everyone that has uh, been a part of my floss tube for my other uh, episodes and I'm glad that you're back and that you will enjoy this and that you will stay along and there will be further giveaways. Uh, I'm going back and watch the last one because there I was giving patterns away and I, I never got back around to that. I will be doing that so if you put your name, it really wasn't that many that put their names down for it but I will look that up and We'll be taking care of that also on the next recording. So, with all that being said, I'm going to stop here. Happy stitching, everyone. Uh, I love seeing what you're doing, and keep stitching. God bless. See you next time. Bye-bye.